Joni Mitchell. This is from her album of the same name, released in 1991. And this was produced by her and her husband at the time, Larry Klein, who is, you know, a fantastic producer in his own right and also a really good bass player and he played bass on this track. And to me, it's um, even though that album was not a big seller, I've always thought this was one of her best songs and it's such a positive uplifting, uh, beautiful vibe that comes from this song. I just really, really like it. And it's a really cool tuning too. It's um, a C add nine tuning. So we're like, it's like C, open C, but we add the nine. It's just a magical kind of tuning. I mean, I could just, just sit around doing that. <laughs> and I'd be happy, you know, it's just so beautiful. And as I was working on this, I kind of, came up upon this right which is just kind of in the tuning right so I actually threw that in just a couple of times very subtly at the end of my demo anyways let's get into this um, so C G D E G C and we're gonna start like this Now, if you listen really closely to the album version of this, she does some really funny stuff with the timing. The first bit's not bad, but when she gets up here, she kind of seems to add an eighth note on there. I don't know if that was intentional or what was going on, because if you watch her play it live, she sure doesn't do that. So instead of you know making it really difficult, I've just kept it straight like she would play it live, okay? So um, there's only five chords in the song, and the first one is here. Now what I do is I bar the A, the D, and the G with my third finger, because my finger bends, so I can easily do that. If you watch Joni play live, she'll put three fingers in there, and she must have a lot smaller fingers than I do, because I can barely do that. So if you can't bend like that, you're going to have to put three fingers in there. Now, you could get away with just putting two in there and just having that A string open. That would work just fine. It wouldn't, wouldn't give you quite the same thing, you know, but it would work. But I'm going to teach it like this. So that's your first chord. 
Your second chord is down here. Same thing, but you're gonna bar E, A, and D and put your first finger on G, what is that, uh, eight. Okay, and of course, Joni would play that like an E chord, like that, and she would get her thumb around like that. My hand does not work that way, so I am doing it this way. Again, you could put all three in there like that. Okay, so there's your first chord, second chord. Third chord, you just slide all the way down, and it's identical. Okay, but we're down here. Okay, now the next chord is just a bar in the seven. And then we've got this, this um, extension, or suspension, I should say which is just uh, G8 and A9. Back to that, and then back to this. For a lot of people, um, oh, and then later on, you're gonna go to that chord, which is a bar in the fifth. We like the open road. Right, so those are the only chords in the whole song. And if you're not into learning all the you know, the intricate picking. You could just... And that would work just fine if you could sit around with an acoustic and sing the song, right? But I'm gonna show you what I, I figured out for what I did in my demo because you know Joni first of all she's not ever going to use a pick she uses you know she's going to finger pick and she just has the strangest most uh, unique picking style and I'm not even going to try and cop that because it's definitely her style but you can hear the note she's playing so the beginning she's going so that's just an arpeggio and we're just playing the first four strings Change chords, do the same thing. And now we're going to hit this open E. And then we're going to hit that A string as we form that chord. So it's A string, D string, G string, and upstroke. And then D string, G string, and then arpeggio from the A string. Now, this isn't exactly how she's doing it. It's how I'm kind of interpreting it. And that last upstroke is on the open strings. And then we bar in the seventh. We're going to kind of strum up to the G string, or sorry, to the D string, and then we pick G, B, and E, with like another back on that backslash, and then put the suspension on, and we're kind of going... And then and we just sort of hang there and she's kind of just vamping on that and then the singing starts There's so much subtlety in it, you know, you'd really have to just listen to it really closely to get every little detail, but I'm just going to show you what I did, how I interpreted it. And then the whole thing repeats.
and heading into the middle section, we're going to go in the backslash that and hit the D in the G string. And then we're going to bar in five. That is so clever. She's doing so many clever, super musical things inside of these chords. And like I say, you know, whether you do that or not when you play it, I mean, it, um, you know, <laughs> it, there's a lot to it, you know, when you really break it down. But you'd be just, you know, you could just strum it and you'd be fine. But coming out of that then is... That's the pattern. Then A D G. So coming into it the first time. And then the song just kind of fades out, right? And in my demo, I just... Um, just hit a straight arpeggio down, and then I went back here. And just got as close to the bridge as I could. And then forward. Nice and mellow up there. Nice and mellow back here. Real brassy, right? And then just ended with the harmonic on the fifth, basically from the D string. And in the background, over that part, I couldn't help it, I, I put in this. <laughs> just a couple of times. That's D, G on the fifth, 12 on the E, then fifth on the E and A. Then. All right. And I'm going to go over the solo stuff or the melody part that I played. Um, I'll, I'll put that on here now. And you know, I'm sure there's not a whole lot of people who are going to really be too interested in that part of the video, but I'm sure they'll. It's this rhythm that you, and the chords and the tuning that you're more interested in. But um, so here's my uh, my take on the melody. For the melody, I'm back into standard tuning, except for the low E string, which I left down at a low C. And I'm only going to use that once at the very end of the song. Okay. So the whole thing's in C major, and I'm doing a lot of it just on the G string. So it's going to start like this. And, you know, anything melodic, I always find it's so much nicer to play it on one string. So we're going to slide into G10 and hit the open E string. And I'm doing this whole thing with my fingers just to get a better feel on it. 
and then we're back to that G10. And we're going to slide down to the fifth, up to, up to the twelfth, then back to the fifth, up to, and then ending on a slide from two to three on the D string. And you have to be really accurate with your slides, right? <laughs> right? Um, just got to really think about, you know, where you're going to stop. So. And now, just two, three on the D, up to the fifth on the B. And then pulling off from the third. And I like to keep that really short to get those trails from the delay. And then that's how we end it. And that's, you know, the, the, the band's on a G, well, kind of like a G7. So that's a G arpeggio. Then down to the seventh. So that whole bit. Now we've got that little slide up to the tenth of the G, then two down slides. Okay, then that whole thing just repeats. Um, and after that, we get to the middle bit. So, that's up to the tenth on the D, then. Seven, four, two, open, two on the D. And now the band goes to an F, and we're gonna go Uh, that's my favorite part of this melody because you're getting that Lydian note in there. Um, bands on the F, so we got root third, fifth, and we're down to that. You know, over an F, that's like a that's a flat five, right? That's that's a nasty interval. But in context of the song, it just gives you that really a uh, pulling. You know, it's pulling to resolve big time back to the C. And then we're going to go so that's just same thing as before but a little bit different rhythm slide in with a little finger okay and then we're back to the to the top Tag it. So that's ten, ten, seven, five, seven on the A, slide down, hit the low, the low C, right? So from that middle break. Alright, so I hope you get something out of that melody part. 
mostly like I said before, I think it's you know the, the chords. And the tuning. It's just absolutely gorgeous. These chords. Anyways, that's it for this one. I hope you get something out of the video. I hope that you enjoy playing it. I had a great time working on this song just because it's so dreamy, you know, and puts you in such a great space. So that's it, and we'll talk to you next time.